साइराम स्टूडेंट्स हाव आर यू ऑल आई होप दैट यू ऑल आर वेरी फाइन एंड हेल्दी इन योर होम विथ ऑल योर फैमिली मेम्बर्स एंड आई ऑल्सो होप दैट यू ऑल आर बी इन टच विद योर लर्निंग सो फॉर द सेम वी आर योर टीचर्स कम टू हेल्प यू विद द हेल्प ऑफ डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म सो आई होप दैट we will be good together good morning class i am damini mehta your maths teacher for this academic year for your standard 4th so first of all we start our today's class with the introduction of our maths textbook so this is the front page of our maths textbook which you are seeing in display and then we go through the index portion so there are total 14 chapter in this year we have and so um, we will start our today's class for the very first chapter of our syllabus which is building with so this is the first page of your chapter there is a small story about a school jagriti school which is in murshidabad they are saying that the building of the school is made by bricks as we all know that all the buildings are made by bricks but what is the speciality the speciality of that school is their wall and floor which are made which are made by bricks they are uh, they are placed in very beautiful pat let we have a look on such beautiful patterns you can easily see in picture that uh, these are uh, cute little children like you all sitting um, and doing some activity and see the pattern of bricks isn't it very beautiful let we have close look on such patterns see in a pattern there is a big x the alphabet x and it surrounded by various bricks uh, similarly there are lots of uh, very beautiful patterns let we have a look on this pattern the pattern with name j look at that pattern how beautiful and creative it is isn't it what do you think isn't it or not okay so let we ha have a look on this pattern the pattern c yes c simple very simple just jig jack very simple but very beautiful right now we go to our next page and there is a very small activity which are doing two children janam and munia now they are placing bricks and try to make a wall the first one is done by janas and the second one is by munia now uh, they are asking that whose uh, wall will be more strengthful means more stronger than the other one so we can easily see that the wall which built by zanas this one see the bricks are overlapping with each other can you see easily they are open overlapping with the strength of each other brick see this first brick is overlap with the strength of the other two bricks so it will be more strengthful more stronger than the brick made by or wall made by munia so what do you think about this student now we should have a close look on these beautiful buildings
Sidan. This is called Jali. See, there is a beautiful pattern made by made from bricks. It is a library building in Kerala. Now see this, how beautiful it is. Yes, children? Yes. Now see. Yes. Uh, what is it? It is art. See there. I will show you this. This is known as art. Okay. A curved portion is known as art. Now children see, in page number 11, there is a small but attractive and interesting activity and also mind boosting activity see in this picture they are showing that there it is a picture of a kill uh, kill is a place where bricks are made or built see now you can easily see how many bricks are there is a labor over that factory brick factory now the activity is we have to adjust or sequence we have to make a sequence for these pictures according to the process of baking or making bricks okay children so we will go through this activity now see this is the correct sequence first they did the soil for making brick and second they put the soil on the mold mold is a uh, utensil in which they uh, put the soil so that it can come in the shape of whatever shape they want and then in third they they after baking out the brick they will uh, replace or they will uh, put out the brick from that mold and then put it for having a good sun light dear children you have seen that how thousands and hundreds of bricks are made in keen uh, where bricks made so there is a question related to that situation a person bhajan wants to buy bricks but the price for different kind of bricks is bricks is different for example the price of old bricks is 1200 for per thousand bricks but for price for new bricks in itapur is 1800 for 1000 bricks and bricks from Brikhabad is 2000 per 1000 bricks. As we have seen the question, so now we will solve it. So the actual question is, Bhajan decided to buy the new bricks from Brikhabad. He bought 3000 bricks. So they are asking that how much he paid for that. So see. This is the solution. Now, Bhajan brought new bricks from Rikhabad. The cost for 1000 new brick is 2000. Okay? From Rikhabad. Now, we will divide it by 1000 and we will get the price of one brick. See, we divided 2000 by this thousand and we get the price for one brick which is rupees two now they are asking for the price of three thousand bricks now we have the price for one brick so we can easily find out the price of three thousand bricks so how we will do it we will multiply the two by three thousand and we got the answer for the price of three thousand bricks easily Okay, children. 
Hey Jia, what are you up to? Look, I bought this game. It has some plastic currency notes and I'm trying to count them. But I'm having a bit of trouble. I am confused between the tons, lakhs and millions. Oh Jia, if you use the Indian place value system, you say lakh. If you use the international place value system, you say millions. Oh, so we say millions only in the international place value system? Aisha, can you please explain how the international place value system works? Sure. Let us take an example of a number and see how we can represent it in the Indian place value system as well as the international place value system. First, we have to identify the place values of each digit. We shall do it separately for both the systems. The place value of 2 is 1s in both the systems. The place value of 3 is 10s in both the systems. The place value of 7 is 100s in both the systems. Moving ahead, the place value of 6 is 1000s in both systems. And the place value of 5 is 10,000s in both the systems. Hmm, the place value seems to be the same in both systems till now. Yes, Jia, till now both the systems look the same. Let's look at the remaining digits. That's where the difference comes in. For the next digit, that is 3, the place value is lakhs in the Indian system and hundred thousands in the international system. The place value of 4 is 10 lakhs in the Indian system and millions in the international system. The place value value of 2 is crores in the Indian system and 10 millions in the international system. Okay, now I see the difference between both the systems. What's next, Aisha? Next, we need to separate the digits of the number into groups called periods by placing commas in between. We need to do this starting from the extreme right. In the Indian place value system, the first period from the right will have three digits, while all the other periods will have two digits. In the international system, all the periods will have three digits. Now, let us play in the periods. In the Indian system, the periods are termed as ones, thousands, lakhs and crores. In the international system, the periods are termed as ones, thousands and millions. Now, let us write down the number name of the numeral in both the systems. In the Indian place value system, the number name would be 2 crore 43 lakh 56,732. In the international place value system, the number name would be 24 million 356,732. Hmm. So now let me use the international place value system to count these currency notes. Here, use this place value chart. It will make your job easier. Thanks so much, Aisha. Hi, friends. Today, we are going to have some fun learning about place value. I guess you already know that place value determines the value of a digit in a number. In this number, 5 is in 1's place, 4 is in 10's place, 3 is in 100's place and 2 is in 1000's place. Now look at this 6 digit number. 4 is in 1's place, 5 is in the 10's place, 6 is in 100's place. 7 in 1000's place, 8 is in 10,000's place and 9 is in the lakhs or 100,000's place. Now, 
Let's look at the value of each digit. We have four ones that is equal to four. Five tens that is equal to fifty. Six hundred that is equal to six hundred. Seven thousand that is equal to seven thousand. Eight ten thousands that is equal to eighty thousand. Nine hundred thousand that is equal to nine hundred thousand or nine lakh. This number can be read as nine lakh eighty seven thousand six hundred and fifty four. We can also read this number as nine hundred eighty seven thousand. Six hundred and fifty-four. That wasn't so tough. Now join me at the railway station for some fun. Some parcels that have place values mentioned on them. Can you help me deliver them to the wagon with the correct number? Deliver this parcel to the wagon where five is in the tens place. That was not the right wagon. Look at the correct answer. Now drop this parcel to the wagon where eight. Is in the hundreds place. Wow, that was great. Deliver this parcel to the wagon where six. Is in the ten thousands place. Hooray! That's correct. Deliver this parcel to the wagon where four is in the lakhs place, also known as hundred thousands place. You are good at this. Deliver this parcel to the wagon where nine is in the thousands place. Yo ho! You got that right. Delivering the parcel was quite a task. I'll see you later.